Slick. Uh, we're here with Officer 50 and Mr. Smith. And I uh, just have a few questions for you guys. Like, uh, Officer 50, yes. what did you have to do to get yourself, you know, into, into character? Do you have any life experiences that bring that out? Well, I mean, being uh, Hispanic already, mm -hmm. it was pretty easy just to throw out the Hispanic accent. But uh, besides that, Mm, no, not much. Okay, so have you had like a, a few run-ins with the police yourself mm. that you know gave you gave you um uh, inspiration? I'd, I'd like to plead the fifth to that question. Okay, okay, okay. so we're gonna come back to you on that one yeah. then. And then uh, Jason Corn, and same question to you. Uh, didn't have to take much for me. Uh, I was just okay. told to come on the scene and uh, that I would I would have to handle some guns. Mm -hmm. So uh, any chance to shoot somebody, I was ready to go for it. Yeah, you look pretty comfortable with those weapons. Have you had any uh, uh, military training, anything like that? Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth again? Okay, so we got a few killers here that... Officer Five O, um, how has this film affected your life? Like, has the ladies been hitting you up all the time? What's been going on? I mean... Normally, I mean, I have standards anyway, so they're yeah. always meeting my standards. But yeah, more than, it's like the outcome is a lot more than it used to be. Okay. I get okay. so many more honey. Okay, so, so Mr. Smith, how has it affected your life? Have uh, you been making a lot of money now? You know, have you been? In, I've, I've seen you've been in a few papers. Tell me about that. Oh yeah, it's definitely changed my life. Uh, I never, never in my wildest dreams yeah. uh, thought I would ever amount to anything, let alone to this magnitude. I mean, people real, uh, recognize me everywhere. The women, I mean, I'm telling them I'm a married man, so I'm offering to become my wife number two. Okay. Oh, um, man. And, uh... <laughs> Your wife is going to see this. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. Alright, so we want a part two then? Uh, let's just keep going. Quiet on the set, let's keep going. Okay, that was good. Let's okay. wrap it up. Okay. Okay, okay and uh, we're going to have to cut that to a wrap now, and um, it was good spending time with you guys, and hope to see the movie in, uh, in theaters, and hope you guys get a lot of money from it. Yeah, 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 um, about this money, about uh, this money. I still haven't, uh, my agent told me to talk to you. Yeah, well, I, I don't handle that personally, you guys are going to have to get to Susan on that, just Susan. just give Susan a call, and she, she'll hook you up. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting, looks like there's a problem with the accounting, there was some glitch in the system. Um, yeah. I think they're using SAP or something. I don't know what it is, but there's some issue. But the check's supposed to be in the mail. That's the last I heard, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get paid. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. 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 yeah like I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, looks like we lost the interviewer. So that's a wrap. Thank you guys for coming. All right. Checks in the mail. Peace. Thank you. Okay. Barbara Long saying, and I'm here today with the stars of HBL, Shaquandra and Shaquita. Ladies, hi, how are you? How are you guys doing today? I just, I have to know, you know, um, doing this HBL movie, how did you really get into character? What made you, what inspired you to really? <laughs> Actually. I have inner characters um, inside of me, mm -hmm. and I just let them come out when necessary. Um, it's an acquired skill mm -hmm. that the uh, best actors in the nation have. <laughs> yes. Shaquita? Well, for me, I know the role was pretty ethnic. Um, so what I did was I met with some coworkers. We kind of hung out in the hood. You remember kind of when we went down yes, there, that trip yes. or that? Indeed. And we just kind of walked around the mall, kind of watched how people interacted. That's kind of where the names came from. We kind of heard those kind of names. And then um, we just kind of felt that that was the best part to kind of research the neighborhood. Interesting. And, and so where we how, how has this movie changed your life? I mean, how, how has your life changed you know, since I, becoming I can this star? Really, I can really relate to the Shaquandras in the world now. And I feel that... Nadi is really going to relate to them too. I just <laughs> kind of, I don't know, I just feel that this role kind of expanded me for, you know, my next Emmy, Golden Globe. I just feel like it just kind of paved the way for me, for sure. Indeed. 
I'm ready. I'm ready for the next time. Oh, for sure, definitely. Let's do it. Just make sure you Absolutely. have a good star dress. You know, I don't want to And you know what, ladies? Thank you for coming down. Thank you so much for your interview. We look forward to the movie hitting previews next Friday. This is Barbara Wong saying, uh, wrapping it up. Uh, quick, quick, sorry, quick question. Um, this is all great, but we, I checked my bank account this morning. My money kind of wasn't there yet, so I can't really promote this money. You know, I don't have the money. I'm not looking right. I'm that's my right. hair done. That's you know how right. we, we just, yeah. just kind of, if you know who to talk to, that person. Um, Checks, I'm, please. I'm going to have to check with something. Um, accounting. Uh, yeah, accounting's working on that, yeah. and um, we're going to be getting that to you as soon as we possible. We catch. Yeah, okay. just, yeah I understand. You, Time is money. Catch your flight, money. and okay. I'm sure it's just it's just an accounting glitch. It's just an accounting glitch. Trust me, trust me. You guys have a safe flight, and uh, that money is as it's in the check is in the mail. Really. Don't mess with it. Thank you, ladies. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Franchise. Be sure to check out my blog, Franchise Says So. Blogspot.com. I'm here to interview the two stars from the blockbuster, HBL, Ali Bob and Heather Ganooch. But unfortunately, they're a little bit late, so we're waiting for them. Ah. Oh. Man, I had to fly. Coach, I'm so tired this morning. Tell me about it. I didn't have enough nuts. I had to eat cornflakes. Well, the doctor a pepper. Mm. Uh, who are you? My name is Franchise. You might have heard of my blog, Franchise Says So. That blogspot.com. No, don't go there. Oh. Anyway. So you guys have been in the uh, blockbuster movie, HBL. Just gonna ask you a couple questions about it, you know? Yeah, so, we have. <laughs> so, I'm about the news. How has your life changed since you appeared in this blockbuster film? Well, I'm driving now. Really? So, shouldn't you be a... Uh, I used to be on a moped. Now I'm driving. Chauffeur and everything? Chauffeur who? What's a chauffeur? That would be the person that drives you around. That's your big time oh, movie star. I'm the driver. Ain't nobody gonna drive my car but me. But now I have a cook. Talking about cook. Hey, Miss Matty, put the fish on the thing there for me now. When we're done, we're gonna eat some. And uh, Heather Ganoush, how has your life changed since appearing in this film? I have been, it opened a couple of doors for me. I have been able to, you know, see people like, you know, Vera Y or uh, Oprah, you know. But, it's been good. It's been good. And it seems very promising. I understand. I understand. So, how was the experience with filming a film with your uh, husband? It's an experience, but I don't know if I would want to do it again. And not with my husband. That's what I'm talking about. You know, not, not filming again, but, you know, with my husband. So, Mr. Ganooch, how did you go about preparing for your role in this film? Well, I went through a series of things. You understand? Like, it used to be in the sun. No, I can't be in the sun no more. So now, I have to walk on my umbrella. Keep the sun, you know, off of me. You understand? No, I'm styling and profiling. Another thing. I have to carry my knife knowing that because, you know, to go rock or home teeth, they're going to look for kill me. You understand? So I'm always prepared. Right, right. That's another thing. Right. A war. Right. We do enough push-ups and enough exercise. No violence on the set, please. I eat no snapper fish. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for answering the question. And Ms. No. Mrs. Ganesh, how, how did you prepare for your role as a dancer in this film? I had to take a couple of classes, dance, dance classes. So that's, that's, that's what I did to prepare for the role. What, what types of dance classes did you get into? Uh, a little bit of hip-hop dance. Pole dancing. It was hip-hop. All right, well, appreciate you guys coming out, and this is a uh, franchise says so with the stars from HBO but, signing out. But, but, you know, I hear just something me here. Some people never get no money. Some people never get paid. Wait, I did get a small still, but Mrs. Yeah. Ganesh ain't got no money. I ain't got my money, and I don't know. Oh. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I gotta yeah, go. I gotta yeah. go because that's my yeah, agent called me. Yeah, right? That's how my agent called me. So we gotta go. Um, about the payment, uh, I'm um, just the cameraman, but 
I hear that there was some mix-up with the payments, some PayPal account problem. I'm not sure what it is, but checks are supposed to be in the mail. Definitely. PayPal. Definitely in the mail. Yes. Never trust a check. Well, that's all we have for now. Um, so, um, checks in the mail. Okay, thanks. Bye. franchise once again be sure to check out my blog franchise says so that's blogspot.com I'm here interviewing Sassima one of the stars of the major motion picture HBL so Chasima, as a star in his major motion picture what did you do prepare for your role as a dancer well I studied all the MTV videos I got my menage on I studied all the Lil Wayne young money I see I see any uh any specific dances that you took to uh, help you prepare for this role? I cranked that soldier boy. I got my robot on. I did my Dougie. I did it all. Yeah, I understand. So how has your life changed since appearing in this film? Man, all the girls want me. All the guys want me. All I do is hang out with Nixie Minaj. You know, that's my girl. What up, Nixie? See, see. Well, thank you. For having to sit down with me, if I can touch your hand. Oh, it's kind of hot. <laughs> Thanks. This is a franchise signing out with Chasima, star of the major motion picture HBO. Make sure to check out my blog. That's franchise, not Frenchies, not friends. It's franchise. Thank you. Good plug. And that concludes our interview. Uh, um, so I haven't got paid. What happened to my money? Um, I don't really know how that works. I'm just the interviewer. But. Oh. Wait, I think. Oh, no. Wait. What is Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Well, it looks like we've lost the interviewer. Um, yeah, I think that that payment is going to be in the mail. Where, so where just you, look out for it. No, I, I'm, I'm just going to check this film, make sure oh. it developed. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait.